Good morning, students. Today I'll explain enlargement and how to describe them. Um, last two transformation, rotation and reflection, you have seen that the object and image, uh, they are congruent. Uh, they don't change their sizes. But in this case, enlargement, uh, if you are considering this, I have two triangles drawn for you. Triangle A, B, C and triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. You can clearly see that A prime, B prime, C prime is way bigger than this one. They are not equal. They are not congruent. They're similar. So enlargement um, is going to be similar unless the scale factor is negative one. We'll, we'll talk about that later on this video. But if you have some object gets either bigger or smaller, uh, I have another drawing for you. A, B, C, triangle A, B, C, C over here and A prime, B prime, C prime over here. So if we are considering this is object, this is the image, uh, image gets smaller over here and over here A, B, C, this is the object and A prime, B prime, C prime, this is the image, it gets bigger. In both cases, we call this enlargement, this type of transformation we call enlargement. In practical life, when something gets bigger, we call enlargement, but if it gets smaller, we call something else, but in maths, we, both, in both cases, we call it uh, enlargement. Only the difference is scale factor. That's what you're going to talk about. Now, let's see the first one. Okay, if we have this triangle ABC, let it be the object and A prime, B prime, C prime, this is the image. Okay, uh, let me write it down. The object over here I'm going to talk about is, um, uh, is having the coordinates such as A, it's minus three, two, minus three, two. B, I have minus one, three, and C, I have minus three, five. These are my object. And let's talk about the image here. Image, we have uh, A prime is two and two, and then B prime six, four, and C prime two, eight. Now, how can we describe? We have these two triangles. We already know that image gets bigger than that. So we can, we can find out this one. No problem. Okay, that's the transformation is enlargement. So enlargement. Okay, we just write it down this. Okay. Now, how to describe the other two, center and scale factor? One way, one of the easiest way is you just join this to corresponding line, any corresponding line, A, A prime, B, B prime, C, C prime. So let's say if I, if I join A, A prime, okay? If I join this A, A prime, and then you can see this, it's the, the this one is a smaller and this is bigger. So when you join that, all those line will meet somewhere over here. So my uh, center of enlargement should be somewhere over here. Now think about C, C prime. If I just join this C, C prime, I'm gonna get it like this. I already got a meeting point over here. If I go B, B prime, that also gonna give me the same line over, same point over here, okay? So all three pair of corresponding points, A, A prime, or B, B prime, C, C prime, when you join that, all those three lines that created, they intersect at this particular point, minus eight, two. Now this is my center of enlargement, okay? So minus eight, two, that's my center of enlargement. All right, pretty good. So we, we find out the type of transformation, that's enlargement, and the center of enlargement. Now coming to scale factor, I can use a formula to find out a scale factor, the easiest way is just take the length of image, okay? Length of image and divide it by length of object. Always image gonna go up and image uh, length of object gonna come down. Um, what is the uh, uh, length of the image? I can take either this one or this one. This is easier this way to count it. Uh, from here, one unit, two unit, three unit, four unit, five unit, six unit. So this is six divided by corresponding line is over here, the length one, two, three. Now three, if we cross it out, it's gonna be two. So that's 
plus 2. That's my scale factor. Of course, you can use coordinate geometry to find out two points distance. And then you put it there. there. But this is a lot easier. Find out a easier way to uh, uh, count the line, okay, uh, length of the line. So that's going to be easier way. Okay, so particularly this object and this image, if I call that one case one, case one, so I have type of transformation, that's the enlargement, center is minus eight two, and a scale factor positive two. Okay, so that's what we find out. What if we have, um, uh, before I move on, there is another piece of information I want to give you that, watch this, uh, the center is here, now object is here and image is here, okay? So center object image, we got scale factor positive two. Keep, keep that in your mind, okay? It might be handy over here. Whatever I did over here, I just switched the places, okay? You can see that, I just switched the places. So this is the object, this is the object, this is the image, okay? Same thing we're gonna do, find out to the uh, uh, center, we just join the corresponding points. I join A prime A and A, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna join, join this line B and B prime. Okay, so it's going to be something like that, and C, C prime. Okay, and then, again, I got this point, minus eight, two, so whenever I have this object, now A is 2, 2, see that my uh, object has changes, 2, 2, B is, the coordinates of B are 6, 4, coordinates of C are 2, 8, and then image, image over here becomes um, A prime minus 3, 2, B prime minus 1, 3, and C prime minus 3, 5, okay? Now, in this second case, what happens? All right. uh, second case, we know that since we switch that, we are going to switch this um, length of the object and image. Now, length of the image would be 3. So, this is scale factor for case 1. Scale factor for case 2 would be 3 divided by 6. That's going to be plus half. So second case. Okay, let's, let me use a different color over here. Okay, that's case one. Case one. This is case two. Okay. And in case two, this is enlargement. Scale uh, center remains same, minus A2. Now scale factor becomes half. Okay, that's half reciprocal of the previous one okay so in the second case we have everything okay now in this case image comes in between center and the object and previously the image goes all the way to the other side of the center okay so if i have uh this is case two case two okay if i have scale factor greater than 2, then uh, get greater than 1, scale factor greater than 1, then what happens that I have image all the way other side of the center and in between uh, center and the image I have the object. Okay, so when I have scale factor greater than 1, positive 1, then image is greater than the object. Okay, and you can say center, then I have object, then I have image, okay, image, all right, for scale factor greater than one, you can see that. Whenever I have scale factor, scale factor less than one but greater than zero, then I have image, image is less than the object, and that time, center, then I have image, and then I have object, center, object, uh, image, object, okay. What if I have something different, okay. See that we know that they are not equal, they are not congruent. 
they are facing other way around. It might be an example of enlargement. We want to be sure. Okay. Same way we we are going to do. We are going to do. Uh, let me first uh, write down the. Ooh, I don't have any space over here, but but let's say this case three. Object is going to be. P. P minus five minus two. See that P minus five minus two. Q minus two minus two and R minus two minus four. And then the image over here, P prime is ten. Uh, X coordinates is ten, Y coordinates is four, Q prime four four and r prime four eight okay same rule we are going to join the corresponding points pair of corresponding points and let's see where it intersects so when i join that it's going through this center o oh yeah origin o then r r prime again is gonna go through that definitely p p prime will go that way as well just to show you Yep, so we have this center zero zero. Now in this case, case three, uh, case three, what are you gonna do? Now case three, I have enlargement. Now center, I got zero zero. We are coming to the scale factor. Now scale factor, this is for three. Okay, and this is the object and this is the image. Count this one. Okay, uh, P and Q, P prime and Q prime. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six. Remember length of image and P prime, Q prime and uh, its corresponding line would be P, Q. That's one, two, three. So that's three and it's going to be two. But since it's other way around, the facing other way around and the center in between the object and image, then what do we do? We just put a negative sign over here. Okay, so this scale factor is negative two. In case three, okay, this is my case three. And case three, what can we find out? That if, okay, that one was the first scale factor. If it's greater than one, then image is bigger than the object, center, then object, then the image. If the scale factor is greater than zero, but less than one, then image is less than object and center image and object. That's the way it follows. But whenever we have scale factor, scale factor is less than zero. Okay. Then two cases may happen. One case. Okay. Center is in the middle. Okay. Center is in the middle. And then either object is going to be on the on this side and image is going to be the other side or image is going to be this side and object going to be the other side okay so what whatever i'm trying to tell you uh, in between object and image center will be there if scale factor is less than zero so this is one way to f describe the enlargement and this is very effective way so it doesn't matter what do you have? If you have object center, then object, and then the image, then image is uh, bigger than the object. When image is bigger than the object, then a scale factor is greater than image is greater than the object. A scale factor is greater than one. If you have this case, uh, image is a smaller than the object, then see that uh, image is a smaller than the object, then a scale factor would be in between zero and one. If scale factor is negative, then enlargement is quite different. Center is going to be in between object and image. Okay. And that's how we describe that enlargement um, center and then scale factor of that enlargement. Okay. This one was the first uh, video on enlargement. Uh, I hope you understand it. Uh, see you in next video. Thank you. Have a good day.